The volume pressure loop of the heart, also known as the left ventricular pressure volume loop, is a graphical representation of the relationship between the pressure and volume in the left ventricle during one cardiac cycle. On the x-axis, the left ventricular volume is measured in milliliter, and it is plotted against the left ventricular pressure measured in millimeter mercury on the y-axis. The loop is divided into several distinct phases that illustrate the mechanical function of the heart. The first phase, isovolumetric contraction, begins with the closure of the mitral valve and ends with the opening of the aortic valve. During this phase, the volume within the left ventricle remains constant as the ventricle contracts, leading to a rapid increase in pressure. This phase is represented by a vertical line moving upwards on the right side of the loop. Key events in this phase include the closure of the mitral valve and the maintenance of a closed aortic valve, resulting in a rapid rise in ventricular pressure. Following isovolumetric contraction is the ventricular ejection phase. This phase starts with the opening of the aortic valve and ends with its closure. The volume of the ventricle decreases as blood is ejected into the aorta, with the pressure initially rising to a peak before beginning to decrease. This phase forms the top curved part of the loop, moving from right to left. Key events during this phase include the opening of the aortic valve, the ejection of blood from the ventricle, the attainment of peak systolic pressure, and the subsequent closure of the aortic valve. The next phase, isovolumetric relaxation, begins with the closure of the aortic valve and ends with the opening of the mitral valve. During this phase, the volume of the ventricle remains constant at end systolic volume. The ventricle relaxes, causing the pressure to drop sharply. This phase is represented by a vertical line moving downwards on the left side of the loop. Important events in this phase include the closure of the aortic valve and a rapid decrease in ventricular pressure while the mitral valve remains closed. The final phase of the pressure volume loop is ventricular filling. This phase begins with the opening of the mitral valve and ends with its closure. During ventricular filling, the volume of the ventricle increases as blood flows in from the left atrium, while the pressure remains relatively low and slightly increased at the end of diastole. Key events in this phase include the opening of the mitral valve, passive filling of the ventricle, initially rapid, then slower, followed by the atrial contraction, and eventually the closure of the mitral valve. Key hemodynamic information can be obtained from this loop. The end diastolic pressure and end diastolic volume are indicators of preload. The end systolic pressure is an indicator of afterload. The difference between the end diastolic volume and the end systolic volume represents the stroke volume. And the percentage of the stroke volume from the end diastolic volume represents the ejection fraction. The light blue area contained by the loop is a representation of the stroke work of the heart during one cardiac cycle. In addition, three curves are important and will be discussed in future sessions, the end diastolic pressure volume relationship curve, the end systolic elastance line, and the arterial elastance curve or line. Thank you for watching.